Hey lovely, how are you this morning? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what to do when you feel like you're getting stuck in your business or indeed life in general. So this is an issue that I see coming up both in myself over and over again but also in so many of the people that I work with and I know in the business world. And when we run our own businesses, you know, it's incredibly hard to marry up that need for consistency with the natural peaks and troughs in life and in ourselves and in our energy levels and what's going on elsewhere in our life. And often we get to a place where we just feel completely stuck, um, completely sort of blocked in, nothing seems to be working. Um, we feel very frustrated and it just sort of goes on and on. So today I wanted to offer you five tips that I've used in my business very successfully and I teach my clients how to use as well when they feel like they're getting stuck. So number one is of course to just take a break from it. Um, this is exactly what I'm doing right at this moment. So um, I have come out on this gorgeous morning. It's a beautiful day here in Surrey and I'm just going for a little walk, getting some fresh air, getting away from my computer, away from my business, refreshing myself because frankly staring at a computer screen and expecting amazing amounts of inspiration or a complete change of heart to manifest out of nowhere is simply not going to happen. As you all know, mindset is incredibly important and sometimes you need to physically take yourself away from the stuckness to actually get a bit of clarity. So the completely obvious one, but if you keep pushing and pushing and it's not working, just take a break, change it up. Number two following on from that is the basics. So this is something I forget all the time, but it's so easy to fix how you feel if you're feeling down just by tweaking some small things in your routine or your day. So think about the basics. What is it for you that makes life feel worth living? And are they those really small things that you can do for yourself? So just stuff like, um, are you actually drinking enough water? Are you eating properly and at the right times? Are you getting enough fresh air? Are you doing those small little things during the week that actually kind of keep you in that really good frame of mind? So for me, um, I, I love I love yoga and I love to sing and so I make sure that those two things are really really prioritized in my life every single week and I dedicate um, obviously finances to those, I dedicate time and I schedule them into my diary to make sure they absolutely happen because when I don't do those basic foundational things and I don't kind of treat myself with the respect that I deserve and actually give myself a solid foundation very very quickly things start to crumble and I start to feel absolute crap. So that's tip number two. <laughs> tip number three is to mix it up a little bit and do something outside of your comfort zone. So um, we're all I think if you run your own business very used to doing business stuff outside of your comfort zone because you know hell if you, if you uh, if you're not if you're not pretty brave you don't go and start your own business so we're all quite used to pushing ourselves in that area but sometimes it can be massively refreshing and give you a really big boost of confidence to actually do something in another area of your life that feels really outside your comfort zone um, so maybe it might be kind of looking for a new club or a hobby near where you live something that you've always kind of wanted to do but you thought it was too geeky or you thought it was stupid or too expensive or whatever um, and just have a little look what's around you and go to the first meeting or contact that person just try it out um, it could also be maybe to um, meet up for lunch with someone that you feel for whatever reason a bit uncomfortable about spending time with maybe they um, you don't kind of feel worthy of their attention or maybe they've um, they have an alternative viewpoint to you so there's lots of different things that you can do that just uh, get your brain remembering how powerful you are and how you are able to constantly break through your own blocks. And like Abraham Hicks says, sometimes, um, you know, if you cannot make a breakthrough on the subject that you are struggling with, i.e. your business, what you can do is sort of leapfrog that block by moving across to something that you do feel unblocked about, you do feel good about, so, you know, it might be your hobby or your family or 
you know, a sport or whatever, and just allowing your vibration to rise in that area. And then if you want to, you can leapfrog back into business and you're gonna feel a lot more aligned and a lot better about it. So number three is to do with something outside your comfort zone in another area of business. And hopefully if you've done those first three, you're going to start to see a little bit shifting, a little bit of movement, maybe some forward progress. Um, and you may be able to start to think about number four, which is why are you actually doing this? Why are you in business? What is it that you want out of it? Are you getting that? And if not, why not? Um, and you know, what, what do you actually enjoy doing? And I think we get so caught up in, you know, this is how you need to market and you need to be doing this and this is what your customers want and um, comparing yourself to other people and, and usually, you know, not meeting their standards or not, not being good enough. How about just being a bit selfish for a little while and just actually thinking about is what you're doing really what you want to be doing? Because, you know, we're all changing all the time and what felt really good a year ago or even a month ago might not feel good anymore and that's totally fine. But you just need to get yourself into that mindset where you can reconnect to what's really important to you. Um, and if you've hopefully done those first three steps, then you may be able to begin to just sink and relax into that place, away from the business, away from trying to force things, and actually just allow yourself to, um, to access a new, that new part of you that is able to tell you the answer to those questions. And um, you know, tapping is a fantastic resource for doing this. If you haven't come across it before, EFT and tapping. Um, I am a practitioner of tapping. I use it all the time for myself. It's incredibly powerful at allowing you to just let the, um, the sort of the mind clutter and the chatter, the negative chatter, just fall away and actually access your true voice underneath all of that. Uh, and mindfulness and meditation are also fantastic tools for that. So number four is to take the time to actually um, ask yourself, what's the point of all this? Why are you doing it? <laughs> uh, and step five is to just ask for help, ask for support. And this is something that, you know, it's incredibly difficult for so many people. I know I really have um, a story in my life that I have to do this by myself, that I can only rely on myself, um, that I can only trust myself, and that I need to prove to everyone, including myself, that this is absolutely something that I did all by myself. Um, you know, the credit and the pressure is all mine. Um, and I think that's a story that a lot of women in business have. And um, sure, if you if you love having that story and it works for you, great, go for it. But I know <laughs> it doesn't particularly work for me pretty much ever. Um, so I'm working on letting that go. And part of that is to just be honest with people. And if you're struggling and you need help, just ask for help, whether that's, you know, your friends, um, your family, your mentors, your coaches, whoever it is, your you know your angels, your guidance, your God, whatever the universe. If if you if that works for you, um, you don't have to do this by yourself. And in fact, you're not at all by yourself. That's actually a story that you're making up, and um, it actually doesn't have to be true. So, just ask for help because sometimes we can't see the wood for the trees. And when you're really, really in the moment and in the period of stuckness, you can't really see from the external world kind of what's going on. Um, you know, what is, what is the problem here? What is the issue? Uh, and sometimes it takes someone with a bit of insight to actually kind of step back for you and go, hmm, okay, I'm seeing what's happening here. And I does this kind of resonate? Does this feel like maybe it might be true? Um, and they can offer an alternative perspective which you cannot see. So this is something that I am now offering to my clients. So if this video has resonated with you and you are in that place of stuckness for whatever reason, uh, stuckness and overwhelm, maybe you've fallen out of love with your business and you can't really put your finger on why, I am here to help. Um, and hopefully you can tell from this video that <laughs> I'm not a uh, terrifying 
shouty, bossy person that's going to tell you exactly what to do. And likewise, I'm not pretending to be some kind of spiritual guru who's going to um, sell you the 10 steps to, um, you know, reach Nirvana or anything like that. I'm simply a normal lady who's also in business, who's also going through all the issues and the blocks and the problems that you are facing. And I just happen to be quite good at being able to see what's going on in other people's businesses. So if you would like to work with me, please check out the, um, the link below in the page on my website. It would be such a pleasure to connect with you and help you. And I just wanted to leave you by, um, I just wanted to offer a final message before I leave you. And that is that please be kind to yourself. Please be kind to yourself because we have chosen a warrior's path and when you run your own business and you choose to step up in the way that we do, life may not be easy. Uh, and I recently connected with someone who had a really great metaphor for this and she said that when you choose this life, you choose to be up in the mountains of life. And of course the view from up there is incredible. You have so much more insight. It's so adventurous, it's so awesome. Um, but you know what, in the mountains there are ups and downs and there are landslides and there are dodgy bits and <laughs> glaciers and uh, sometimes you slip and fall and you slide all the way down the mountain. Um, and so you just have to accept that it's okay to be stuck. It's okay to feel crappy. It's okay to feel like you would want to like hurl your business out the window because you're just so sick and tired of it. It's okay to feel tired. Um, and just be kind to yourself. Think about if this was your best friend you were talking to instead of yourself in your head, would you actually be saying all those horrible things that you're beating yourself up about? Probably not. So I'm sending this to you with so much love. Know, sister, that you are on this path, not alone, but with many others of us, and you are doing so good. So be kind to yourself. I hope those tips have helped, and have a wonderful day. Bye.